Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be creating more cards using the latest release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. The release is called Brewing Up the Season. I already filmed an unboxing and I will link to that at the end of this video. But today I'm going to create a few more cards using these beautiful products. I'm heading straight for the stencil for my first card. This one is called Coffee Cup Stencil. I pulled out some of my Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to create some coffee cups on this piece of blue cardstock. The light green was just a little bit too light. I'm coming in with a darker green. The Distress Oxide sit on the paper, so they're going to be nice and bright on this colored cardstock. I'm also going to use some pigment ink to color in the steam above each of the coffee cups. I'm using some small stencil brushes to get into these small spaces. And here it is all done. Isn't that just adorable? So I'll bend the mat to peel off the panel. And now I can attach some pattern paper. The pattern paper from the Not Too Shabby Shop is very nice, heavyweight pattern paper. So I don't mind using my liquid glue to attach it onto the cardstock. I love this green gingham piece. I'll attach the ephemera shape at the bottom with the whipped cream and the twinkle lights. And then I love this little strand of twinkle lights. I'm going to glue this one up at the top. I'm going to overhang off of the sides just a little bit. And then my sentiment that I stamped out is going to go up at the top left corner and this is going down flat as well. And it says holiday cheer. And then I can flip this card over and trim off the overhang. Even the ephemera pieces from the Not Too Shabby Shop are printed out on nice heavyweight paper. I really love creating with their products, they're very high quality. Trim off this side. And then this card is done. I am going to add a few of the sparkle enamel dots. I like these white ones. They go well with the whipped cream. I'll put three of these on the panel. I did decorate the insides of my cards today with leftover pieces of pattern paper and ephemera shapes. This card is all done nice and flat to go through the mail. For card number two, I'm going to start off by stamping out my sentiment. I'm stamping it onto a piece of white cardstock. This is Nina 80 pound white cardstock. I'm stamping it out with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This says comfy cozy we are. And then while I had my paper out, I decided to stamp two more sentiments. And then I can use the coordinating dies to cut these out. And now I have some nice sentiments ready to go for future cards. I'm using another piece of this blue cardstock. This is called Raindrop Blue from Spellbinders. I'll attach this to my white card base. And then I can start attaching some pattern paper. I love these blue and white stripes. I'll put this down at the left side. My next piece of pattern paper has all of these coffee cups on the front and it matches perfectly with the ephemera shapes. I'm going to put this down and then decide which coffee cup I want to use on this card. They're all so cute. But I decided to use the tall one and pop it up with some foam squares. This is going to go down at the bottom left. And my sentiment will go just above it. I'll use some tape runner for this. And I go back and forth between the liquid glue and the tape runner. This time, instead of the enamel dots, I'm going to use some ephemera pieces, these cute peppermints. Each is a different color. 
I'll place these on my card. I just want to see where I want to put them first. And then I'll bring out my glue and attach these. On one side of the coffee cup pattern paper, I did use a scallop die to cut out one of the edges, just to add a little more interest to the card. Here's a close up look at the finished card. Card number three is my favorite, and it is also the easiest of four cards that I'm creating in this video. I pulled out the coffee cup stencil again, and I'm using it on a piece of poppy field cardstock. I'm also using some dark brown ink. This one is called Mocha, and it's from the Positively Saturated Inks from Simon Says Stamp. This time I'm covering up the whole stencil with the brown. It goes a lot faster when you just use one color. However, using different colors and then using the white pigment ink for the steam did look really cute. Again, this is going to be just a fast and simple card. I love the brown and the red together. I use a lot of brown ink in the fall time. Now I can bend the mat gently and peel off the panel. I do end up cutting this panel down just a little bit. The sentiment I'm going to stamp out with more of the brown mocha ink. This is a really fun, large sentiment, and it says Hot Cocoa, Cozy Blankets, Christmas Movies. I'll use the coordinating die to cut this out. And I don't end up using this on the front of my card, but I will use this on the inside of the card. Next, I'm going to stamp out more images from the Holiday Cheer stamp set, and I'm using the same brown ink. I accidentally got brown ink in the center of the coffee mug, and I was a little worried that that was going to transfer onto the paper, but it was just fine. I love that coffee mug with the whipped cream on top, so cute. I have a lot of layers going down on this card base. I'll put my red gigum down first, and I cut it a little bit smaller than the card base. This will provide a nice white border. Next, I'll attach the stenciled piece onto another piece of white cardstock. And then I can attach this whole panel onto my card base. This card is going to have a very graphic feel to it. I'm not going to color in any of the images except for one. Once I have this centered, I'm going to figure out where I want the cute coffee mug. And then before I attach the coffee mug, I'll make sure I leave room for the sentiment. I'm going to use the one that says holiday cheer again. And then I decide to attach the coffee mug at the bottom right, of the card. These images are so cute, you don't really even need to color them in, <laughs> as this card proves. However, I am going to color in the bow just for a, a little pop of green. And I used some colored pencils to do this. I'll attach this with some glue. I love this bow, and I think it's so pretty how the die cuts out some of the inner bits to it. I'm going to add the cinnamon stick. Just go perfectly at the right side of the cup here. And here is the large sentiment. I didn't want that to go to waste, so I will glue this on the inside of the card. And then last, I'll add a few more of the glitter enamel dots on the front of this panel. I'll add one more 
right above the sentiment. And let me give you a close up look at this graphic looking card. And here is the inside with the large sentiment. That one was so much fun to put together. My last card is going to be a very graphic looking card as well. I decided to stamp out all of the sentiments from the Holiday Cheer stamp set onto this cute piece of striped pattern paper. I do stamp it out several times, but I only show it once on camera. I just love how that looks going down the striped paper. But I decided to trim this down so that the sentiments are centered on this pattern paper. And then I'll have two more pieces of pattern paper. I love this red with the white polka dots and the green gingham. I'll attach the pattern paper to the card base first. The pattern paper pack that I'm using is called Lattes, Cocoa, and Cookies. And of course, I'll have all of the links listed in the description box if you want to check them out. I'll attach the green gingham on the left. And then the red with the white polka dots next to that. I do have a little bit of overhang, but I trim that off with my scissors. And now for the sentiments. I'm going to attach this panel kind of to the left of the card. I wanted to leave a little bit of room for some ephemera pieces. I'm going to use another string of the twinkle lights at the top. I'll use another hot drink ephemera shape at the bottom. And then I can trim off the twinkle lights. And it's a large enough piece where I can use this side as well. I'm going to add some glue behind it. Just trying to decide where exactly I can use this. It's so cute, I don't want it to go to waste. I decided to put it at the bottom, so I'm going to carefully peel up the coffee mug. Put some more liquid glue behind the lights. Put this down at the bottom right corner. And I'll tuck the coffee cup under the lights. have to peel them up just a little bit. There we go. Paper did rip a little bit, but I'm hiding it with the coffee mug. Last, I'll add some red sparkle enamel dots around the sentiments. More up at the top. And this card is done. I love the look of this one too. It's so bright and cheery. Then here is a look at the inside. And again, these are products from the Brewing Up the Season quarterly release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Thanks for watching. I hope you were inspired to sit down and create some beautiful cards. Take care, my crafty friends. Until next time, bye.